Hello Brick fans and uh, welcome to Blue Brick Studio. I'm Joe. And I'm Ross. And today it's World Architecture Day, which is why we've brought you along probably the world's greatest architecture uh, building, in my opinion. There's okay. No, there's nothing much cooler than Frank Lloyd Wright's falling water. So you basically think it's more impressive than the pyramids or the... Um... From the look-wise, 100%. This is the coolest house. That it is. It's the coolest house and pretty up there with one of the coolest buildings. It was ranked as one of the 28 places you have to see before you die. Okay. So come on. People know what this is. It's cool. Yes, it is. I um, do agree. And that's why I was excited to see that we have this in store. But you, got, you have to be quick. You have to be quick. There aren't many of these left. So you have to go and uh, get it while it's hot, more or less. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's got 1,221 pieces, and it's a fantastic set to build. It's uh, really fun. It comes in five different um, sections, and you start off building uh, the whole base of it here. So you start off building the base, and then you go higher, higher, higher. You build the water part, and uh, then you get to the house and the trees, and that's how you uh, build up the building. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. I thoroughly enjoyed building it. It was a lot of fun. And yeah, especially my favorite part is the water falling down here. Falling mm -hmm. water. Yeah, I know. So, I mean, it's fantastic. It, it just looks so nice. It really looks very, very nice. It's very interesting. In case you have never seen the Wangi set from below, they use these, um, a moment, these decorative slopes which are basically half technique brick, half slope, where you, which you connect, and then you have got a very stable base to build on. And um, how are the instructions? The instructions are great. Um, this is the instruction booklet that you get, and it's very, very pretty, because you've got the actual pictures here. I thought, okay, well, we'll get started. And I opened it up, and you are greeted with a bit of advertising. And then you have a fully colored picture page of, well, what the actual building looks like. And then it goes into a black and white of what it looks like with a bit of text about it. Um, more about it here in a Spanish, but with different pictures. Um, then about building it, uh, the special pieces that are included in here, okay. which I also thought was very cool. Good. And then uh, here, a discussion about how and why they chose the colors they did. They write, um, adopting five main colors, khaki, beige, dark green, light gray, and transparent blue. So they obviously were proud of what they did here and they proudly presented it in about 10 pages of, look, we really made an effort. <laughs> that they did. And they really did. I mean, the box is pretty big, um, cool. but it's easy to transport. It's quite full. Uh -huh. uh, that's why it's got a crack in here because I was carrying it along uh, like that. But it's good to transport. It's uh, a fantastic set. Um, you have a QR code here that you can mm -hmm. scan to get uh, more information. Um, it redirects you to a website and it's got more colorful pictures of the actual falling water. Um, yeah, so this is uh, the fun 1,221 piece falling water. I gotta say, I actually really like the idea of um, this building, the original, because you see it was back in the 1920s, 30s? 1939. 1939, when they were experimenting with um, cubic structures and um, concrete buildings. And the architect decided to incorporate the waterfall into the design of the house itself. And from the pictures I've, saw, uh, I've seen from the inside of the house, he even managed to include some of the uh, more uneven surfaces of the rock that is built upon in the flooring of the uh, main building. And I think it's really, really interesting and innovative, which is why it's such a landmark and um, trademark for a modern architectural design. Well, modern design. It's from 39, so... It's 85 years old, but yeah. it's still impressive. Um, yeah, it is. It's a museum today, I think. Mm -hmm. um, so people who lived there, who it was built for, don't live there anymore. Um, when I showed this to you and I brought it in, you said, ooh, that's a bit colourful, isn't it? Yes, it is. And I think the colourfulness comes from the trees. 
Now, uh, building brick trees is something that I don't particularly enjoy. <laughs> um, let me know in the comments if you like building them, uh, but I find it a tedious, arduous struggle sometimes. Um, these, however, were quite fun to build. Okay. Not, well, not, they weren't fun. <laughs> they, they had to be done, and it was less annoying than usual because they're quite simple to build and they fit in quite nicely. But they do really add to the whole scenery. If this was just without these colours, because you've got the little, um, I'll tilt it up, you've got uh, some of the leaves floating through the river down here. If it wasn't without the colours, and it's obviously an autumn setting, mm -hmm. uh, I think it would be missing something. It really would be missing something. The trees add to the nature aspect of it, with the water and everything. And I find it has to be there, even if it's a bit annoying to build. But hey, how else are you going to do trees? Um, so I find it really cool to do that in that way, because uh, you've incorporated absolutely everything that uh, Frank Lloyd Wright wanted to incorporate mm -hmm. with the natural and then the cubic structures. So I find it very well done. And it's a very nice contrast in the model as well as in the original building from the, as you said, the the more smooth lines of the water falling and of the uh, nature and the um, cubic. Is it already brutalistic? Mm, I don't think it's brutalistic because I think colors off for that. Brutalistic has to be more proper gray gray, I think. Well, I don't think so. I'm not sure. Write it down in the comments, please. And um, it fits quite well. The contrast is very nice. And what I also like about the model is the size. I find it a fantastic size. I've got the sizes on the back of the box that set them, or I certainly set them in here. Um, or shall check it. I exactly. Think. It's uh, 40 centimeters long, 24 centimeters uh, deep. So it's a perfect size to fit in your house on a shelf. You could, even if you probably wanted to, hang it up on a wall like that. Don't know if that would make it work more or less. I think less because you don't see as much. Exactly. So hang it up kind of eye level and you can look around. So... Um, and in case you do not like this chain thing here, which is basically... The chain thing and this little plug is a trademark of the architecture series of Wangi. Mm -hmm. And um, if you don't like it, you can just leave it. You're not a big fan, are you? No, not really, because it it's just, I don't know, it's, it looks tacked on. At the end, it's just thrown in because they usually do it and um, I think it looks much much nicer with that. Okay, let's have a look. Tell me if I'm wrong. Yeah, well, uh, tell, tell you all if he thinks uh, what you think is better. Uh, I like it with that one, but I also am not exactly a great design person as you might see in my thumbnails. <laughs> um, my designs aren't fantastic and I don't exactly have an eye for that, but I think that um, does add to it all. Okay. Um, let me know what you think. It's a matter of taste and there's no... Right or wrong. Right or wrong about that. Yeah. But um, this isn't to any scale. The door here, as you can see, I'll show you the background here. There's a little door here. The person would have to be very small, I think. I think the person would have to be about... Mm, let's say that size. Um, so it's not to any scale or anything, it's mm. to the scale thing, but not a minifigure scale or anything. And as you can see, it definitely has got a backside, which is this one. Exactly. So you don't want to hold that up to, for your visitors and for you to see. It's certainly meant to be placed against a wall like that. Um, yes, but there's not much else to say apart from it looks great. Yeah. Um, my brother came around to visit me yesterday, he saw it and was like, wow, that's fantastic. He was really impressed with it. He mm -hmm. said it's uh, it one of the good. coolest sets that he's seen. And I agree. I find it great. I find it really, really good. Please write down in the comments if you like it. Mm -hmm. And what other architecture, uh, architectural buildings you like. Yeah. Maybe we have them in the shop. Check it out. Um, all right. Well, that's our video for today. Yep. Enjoy the rest of uh, World Architecture Day. See some nice buildings. And uh, you can never have enough bricks. So what's stopping you from getting more? Have fun building. See you next time. Thank you for watching. And goodbye.